On today's episode, I wanna run a wing experiment. I wanna figure out how can I make the crispiest wing ever in the oven without an air fryer and without deep frying. Historically, on my previous wing episodes, I've used baking powder uh, as an additive in addition to the spice mixture to get the wing crispy on the outside. I've had people in the comments section reach out to me and say, it's not baking powder, it's baking soda that makes wings crispy. So today we're gonna do a dry rub wing. We're gonna pull out all the stops and get it super duper crispy. And we're gonna go head to head baking powder versus baking soda. And we're gonna see which one actually makes the wings crispier. Uh, but before I get into the recipe video, check the description box below. Down there's all the ingredients and the directions. Let's get cooking. The chicken wing is arguably one of the best parts of the chicken, although it needs a little bit of preparation in order to really shine. One of the best parts about chicken wings is how inexpensive they are. So how you make them even more inexpensive is buy whole wings and then trim them yourself. And it's really, really simple. You can see all I do here is I'm bending each piece at the joint. I put a little bit of a cut in there. When the joint separates, I can get my knife right in between the two bones. You don't need a cleaver. You don't need to chop through the bones. You don't need to break your cutting board. Just use a little finesse separate the joint and get that knife in between and keep those wing tips because they're unbelievable to make chicken stock you could see how many chicken wings i have in here and i just keep these in the freezer once i have enough i'll make some stock keep on the lookout for a future episode where i take these wing tips and i make stock now let's start dressing these wings exactly the same so i have uh, some olive oil on top and then some of my base seasoning, which is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. And then I'm going to use this Cajun rub. I really love a Cajun rub for a dry wing. It really adds a really nice flavor, a little bit of spiciness. And if we're running a crispy wing experiment, there's no other wing that I'd rather make. So now let's add a little bit of baking soda there. And we're going to add a little bit of baking powder to this one. And I've had people in the comments section tell me that I'm dead wrong, that it's not baking powder, it's baking soda, so let's find out. So now I'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of each one just to loosen up those spices and help the baking powder and baking soda start to dissolve into the spice mixture. And we'll give this a good mix by hand until it's well coated. And these wings are being treated exactly the same and I'm giving them the same exact treatment. The only thing that's different is gonna be that baking soda versus baking powder. So now in order to get maximum crispiness in the oven, we're going to use a baking sheet with a raised grate on top of it. And I'm going to arrange the wings very neatly and make sure that there's space in between because we're going to have the convection setting on in the oven. So it's going to be blowing air around and you want the air to get everywhere underneath and around the wing. If you crowd them a little too much or they're too close to each other, air is not going to get in between and they're not going to get crispy. So here we got our baking soda side. Here we got our baking powder side and we know that they're split right down the middle. Let's get sciencing. So these are going to go in a 375 degree oven with the convection setting on. And I have these on a little bit of a lower temperature because the first step in the oven is to render out some of the fat. So that's going to be used to crisp the wings. The whole spirit of making a crispy wing is I don't have to make a sauce that's got a stick of butter in it. So we're going to make a little bit of the healthier side dipping sauce. So we're going to start with a base of some Greek yogurt and we're going to add some avocado oil mayonnaise. I'm just using avocado oil mayonnaise because that's what I like. A little splash of milk and then we're going to go with some Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. I love keeping this stuff on hand because you can make an easy dipping sauce. And it's so easy. You just mix a little bit of this and uh, some vinegar along with all those other products that were in there. And now we're going to whisk this all together. And you can see I'm not measuring. I'm just putting stuff in the bowl. And once it's whisked up a little bit, we're going to give it a little taste. And we're going to see, does this need anything? And it doesn't because I nailed it on the first shot. So let's take this. We're going to put this in container. We're going to set it in the fridge so all those flavors get released into the dipping sauce. And we're going to attend to our wings. So those wings have been in the oven for about 20 minutes. They are far from fully cooked, but we're cooking it first at this lower temperature to render the chicken fat out of the chicken skin and the wing. And you can see they're starting to take on a little bit of color and we're gonna use my flip method that I use a lot with bone in skin on chicken that I wanna get nice and crispy because the fat is rendering out, it drips to the bottom. And now we're gonna flip it over to expose the side that has the chicken fat all over it, which is the ultimate 
fat to make these chicken wings crispy. So after a flip, they're going to go back in the 375 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Now we're going to pull them out and a lot of the chicken fat is rendered. We're going to turn the oven up to 395, so about 20 degrees higher, and now we're going to flip again. If anything gets sticky, don't get aggressive. Be really nice and gentle to not ruin that skin. So once these have all flipped again, again, we're exposing the top side that now is a little bit cooked. It's got that chicken fat on it. You can see that little bit of shine on it. And once these are all flipped and they're still trying to stay nice and separated, we're going to re-season them. So right now there's some chicken fat on there, so now that can absorb some of that spice mixture. So just we're going to put a little bit of sprinkle of that base seasoning again and a little bit of that Cajun seasoning. This re-seasoning step is essential to get super crispy chicken inside the oven. And now we're just going to spray it with a little bit of avocado oil on the outside just to make sure that there's no dry spices on there. Dry spices will burn. It needs oil to make sure that it gets crispy. So now we're going to put these in a slightly hotter oven for, again, about 20 minutes. And you can see these are starting to take on some really, really nice color. And you can also see that we're starting to get a little bit of differentiation in color in between the two sides. To your left, you can see that the baking soda side is a little darker, and then the baking powder side is a little bit lighter. I'm not too sure yet what this means because we have to fully cook these wings and then let them cool down to find out the crispiness factor, but we're already starting to see that there's a little difference. And, and we're also going to do that re-season step on the other side because wings don't really have a side. We want both sides crispy. So we're going maximum crispiness, base seasoning, and Cajun seasoning, both sides. A little bit of spray at that oil. I already told you why. So now these are going to go back in the 395 degree oven for the last about 10 to 15 minutes. Once they've reached maximum golden color, we're going to pull those out. These are done. They just need to cool for about 5 to 10 minutes before we start handling them. That's going to help them get crispy. So you can see that the baking powder side is a little bit lighter. Definitely looks crispy. Uh, but the baking soda side also looks crispy, but definitely a darker color. Uh, I'm not making any assumptions yet. We're going to let these cool before we eat them and handle them. So now we can clearly see that these are the baking powder ones. These are the baking soda ones. The baking soda ones have a little bit more color to them, but we're going to see if they're crispier or not. These are the baking powder ones. So first is going to be this a little knife test where we're just going to run that knife. And you can hear, I hope that my microphone is, is picking that up, that those are pretty crispy. But now let's check out these baking powder ones. Wow. This is way crispier. I mean, I don't know if you can hear that, but just the sound of the metal on there sounds just really, really nice. Um, let's get these on a plate and let's put out some sauce. So even though this is a crispy wing test, we got to have some sauce to dip these into. And we'll put some chives on top just to pretty it up. So even handling these, I can tell that these baking soda ones, they look crispy, but they're just not very crispy. They have like a little bit of a sogginess to them, which for wings is not exactly ideal. And now our baking powder ones, as I'm handling them, I can feel that there's just like this really nice crisp to these. They're solid. I mean, you can even hear them as they hit the plate. They sound super duper crispy. In the name of science, these wings look absolutely delicious. Both sides look wonderful. I'm really excited to try them, and I really want to see what we did here. And if baking soda is really what I should have been using the whole time, I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, let's put the debate to rest. Let's really find out which has made these wings crispier, the baking soda or the baking powder. And again, on visual inspection, uh, these look a little darker. These look a little lighter. These just don't feel as crispy. These do, but taste test wins it all. So let's start off with a drumstick on the baking soda side. So we're going to give this a dunk because what's wings without a, a little bit of a dunk? And well, I can tell you that's not very crispy. 
and has this weird tang to it. I'm gonna try to be open-minded and take another bite. But honestly, that's not very good. Now, let's go same thing. We're gonna go drumstick for drumstick. And now we're gonna check out drumstick on our baking powder side. So, nice dunk. Mm. Not only is that crispier, there's not that weird tangy flavor. These are delicious. Mm. I'm gonna eat another one just to make sure. There's a flap, let's do that wing umbrella. So, wiggle those bones apart, push it all down. Give it that nice dunk. Mm. Mm. There is absolutely no debate. Baking powder, the flavor was awesome. You can't taste it at all. It was super crispy. Baking soda, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with these wings because they look really good, but they don't taste very good. They got this weird tang to them and they're not very crispy. So everybody in the comment section, don't tell me that baking soda is better than baking powder for making wings crispy. We ran the experiment. We clearly saw that baking powder was the winner. If you did like this video, check out some of my other videos here. Uh, head to my channel, browse it. Let me know what you think of my other videos and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks.